Okay, thank you again for tuning in to the BPO theory. Uh, it's just a small uh, video message that I have because, you know, um, some few weeks ago I had written um, an email to Gerard at Hooft. Well, he's a Dutchman, um, he's a professor um, at, at the University of Utrecht, and he um, he had a, a, a Nobel, he's a Nobel laureate, he, he, he won the Nobel Prize for a mathematical contribution to uh, quantum field theory. Um, uh, some sort of renormalization technique he invented and he received in the, I, I, think, I think it was in the 70s of the former century that he received the Nobel Prize for that so um, uh, and I, I, I wrote him a message and I think it's worthwhile well for you to, to, to learn the type of reaction you get from these uh, these people because he's really in the mainstream of physics they listen to him so I thought, well, perhaps if I write him a polite message, I'll get a polite answer, I can do something with it. And so, uh, so I just I just wrote him a message uh, that I wrote this book uh, on physics called Monkeys Don't Die Lizards, and I had new theory in it. And it was just, it's just a small uh, email, not to bother him too much, you know. But uh, I attached my book and I said to him, well, okay, this is a theory where instead of these 32 particles, uh, uh, fundamental particles, uh, that you have in uh, the standard model, I only use one. I only need one. And I, can, I calculated that uh, I have very high conformity to uh, all sorts of uh, experimental results. And uh, I also named some of the other um, uh, scientific virtues that my theory would have, and I invited them to read my book and uh, at least have a look at chapter 7, where the theory is um, presented in a rather condensed form. So it doesn't take much time for someone with his uh, uh, statue to um, to read that. And. Um, so, but only a few hours later, I received an answer from him and said, well, that's entirely wrong. Uh, that does not conform to experimental results. Uh, he doesn't say uh, what uh, part of my theory doesn't conform. It's just a, a general uh, reaction. So it doesn't conform to experimental results. So, okay. And then he, he goes on and say, well, uh, I, I imply, uh, apparently I apply my theory that Particles like the muon, the pion, the omega minus, and the epsi, etc., they do not exist. That I imply. So, uh, and and then he goes on saying, well, um, the, these particles can be uh, explained in the standard model. Oh, very good. Uh, so they, uh, and 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 apart from that, he says, uh, that the magnetic moment of the electron is known. Uh, with a precision of um, to ten decimals, so that's that's his argument. And because because of all that, uh, uh, real physicists, real physicists, uh, won't bother to take my theory seriously. So that's what he says, and this is very typical. You know, he talks in the name of all these others. He doesn't say I do. I do not take it serious. No, real physicists will not take it seriously. Well, let me react to that uh, mail, because I reacted to it, uh, but I didn't receive a, a reply to my reaction anymore. I also asked him whether I could use his reaction in a video like this one, and he didn't react to that. So, of course, uh, here in Holland we say, those who say not anything, uh, or they so do, do not reply, they acknowledge. So, uh, I think it's all right for me to just take his Mm, email and command to it mm, in public because um, mm, you know you have to stand for what you say and what he says is just is what he does is, is in a sense ridiculous because you know um, I can I can uh, I can uh, say before for example let, let's say he read the book I attached it he read it so um, uh, let's assume this okay well, that's, then it's strange that he says, well, um, it doesn't fit, um, uh, it doesn't fit my theory, doesn't fit experimental results. Well, it does. It does greatly. I showed that in my book. So, 
Uh, that's not an argument that we can assume that he read it. So, and then he goes on and says, you imply that all these particles do not exist. I never, Im nowhere in my book I do imply that. So that's another argument why we cannot assume that he actually read something. And then he goes on, you know, uh, saying the uh, argument about this uh, magnetic moment, uh, how precise that is, uh, reproduced in the theory of standard model. Well, mm, I'm sorry, uh, the argument, I discussed that argument at length in my book, so uh, um, that is not, an, not a sign also that he really read anything. So apparently with this mail, he just reacted only to what I've written in the mail. So my statement, and I was able to uh, produce a theory that did not need all these 32 fundamental particles, only just one. Apparently that's what he reacted to in the mail without reading anything in the attachment. And he just dismissed that right of hand, right out of hand. So, um, and, and the reason is very simple because his uh, contribution to physics is to uh, quantum uh, field theory and that is part of the standard model. So if I write him a mail and saying, well, okay, I can replace the standard model with its 32 uh, fundamental particles, which is only one particle, he uh, displays a knee-jerk reaction. So Mr. Uthoff, um I think that it's not a wise thing to do. So if someone uh, had, had, has gone at great length to produce a theory, it was very sincere, a piece of work um, with a mathematical um, calculation, a mathematical proof in it. So uh, just reacting in this way does not contribute to the development of physics. You should um, pay attention to someone who has a real contribution and not uh, uh, display knee-jerk reaction simply because the content of the message is not to your taste. Uh, but um, I, uh, I, I'm sorry to say that uh, it is very exemplary, this reaction. Um, I, get, I receive many of these reactions and uh, can, apparently people in mainstream physics do not want to know alternatives. Uh, alternative explanations, they do not want to uh, really enlighten uh, themselves with it. And that's a shame. That's one of the reasons why physics, the development of theoretical physics has stalled. The development is really now in a sort of conundrum. No, nobody really uh, makes any progress anymore. And those who make progress are ignored and ridiculed. So that's the state of physics, I'm sorry to say. Well, I hope you have um, enjoyed um, this video or learned something about it. And especially, of course, Mr. Truff, if you want to react to this video, you're free to do so. Bye bye and see you next time. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up.